G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. I'm going to preface this video off by saying if you haven't watched my Debian Theory video, watch that first before you watch this. Okay. Debian Linux, KDE, desktop. I'm very impressed. In fact, I'm more than very impressed. Now, I've said this before, I have a soft spot for the KDE GUI. Okay? I'm not a fan of GNOME. Um, but, uh, the way I, see, I explain it to people who want to know, GNOME looks like MacOS, KDE looks like Windows. But, so far... I'm liking what I'm seeing with this. In fact, I'm more than liking what I see. I really like what I see. When it comes to Linux in itself, I would always suggest Debian before any of the others. Um, if you want me to choose between Debian with KDE and KDE Neon as a workstation... I'd just say pick one and run with it. If you're asking me about a server, I'm going to say Debian. Simple. I would put Debian Linux in front of Red Hat, Mandriver, OpenSUSE, uh, any of them, basically. Even UCS, which uses the Debian kernel. But as a core system... I would use Debian Linux. So, as you can see, I've got it installed. And I'm going to be honest with you, everyone. Even running on this old thing, with 2 gig of RAM, it actually boots reasonably quickly and functions reasonably quickly. Pretty much standard KDE desktop, as you know. Um, so, the plan now will be to obviously add packages that I need to turn this into both a Linux server. Now, as I said in the theory video, if this theory works, I will migrate this setup to an actual server. Okay, I have got a spare, a couple of spare x86-64 servers lying around. The reason we haven't torn them down is, one, they still work, and two, I want to keep the two x86-64 servers I have left. They might be getting a bit old, but they still will function. Well, they'll function. Um, so, first impressions of Debian with a KDE desktop. I'm very impressed. The installation was nice and quick, nice and easy, as with most of Debian's stuff. Uh, obviously, you've got advanced... Um, more advanced installation features. I didn't bother doing that. What I did like was, and we've seen this from my other video where uh, I'm having trouble manually doing the network. I loved it that I could manually do the network on this. So I'm very, very impressed, people. Very impressed. So a shout out to the guys who run the Debian Linux development team. Brilliant. I really am impressed. I've used Debian a lot in the past. Why haven't I migrated my entire system to Linux? Um, probably because I'm just bone fucking lazy when it comes to some computing systems and I just stick with systems that I've worked with for a long time, being Windows, basically. Um, but, like I said, so far I'm very impressed with Debian Linux. Anyway... We'll get on and uh, see what happens with this project. And I'll keep you informed of uh, where it leads to. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.